Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and welcome back to Pikmin. We just beat the game in the last part, and we got the great, best, amazing ending of happiness and thoughts to looking forward to the future. Um, and this time, we're going to be showing a couple of additional bonus things that this game has to offer, because, you know, for as quasi-linear as this game is, there's still a bit of variability in terms of things that we can do. So, um, we beat this game in nine days, which is, you know, record, you know, game file for me. So, we're gonna go ahead and go back here. We have 29 ship parts. Now, starting on day nine and every subsequent odd-numbered day after that, if you return to the impact site, there will be a harmless optional boss that appears only in this game. You guys saw him in the roll call of the enemy credits, and uh, he goes by the name of Gulix. Gulix is an interesting character. He cannot kill your Pikmin unless they are red or yellow, because he is a water-based creature. And a lot of fan theories speculate that he's probably, uh, he predates the plasma, the plasma wraith in Pikmin 3, as well as the water wraith in Pikmin 2. Um, but as far as I know, there's nothing in the game to confirm that at all, other than the fact that it, those are the only water or liquid based creatures, um, in the game, so... Um, you can't hurt blues or anything, so I'm just gonna go to town on this asshole, and, uh, it's gonna be good. Uh, good stuff for us. Um, so let's go. There you go. Got a couple of leaves in there. That's fine. So I got a couple of buddies, leafies. So, yeah, the impact side, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, I can't believe. Let's do this. Let's throw all these guys up here first, and, uh, I guess we can probably take these other guys. We don't need every single one of these Pikmin, but I just like going up there with the bunch, because it's kind of funny just throwing them on there. Sheer ambition. And with this, he f uh, comes out of nowhere. Now he's got like a little pearl thing, which I'm assuming is his mass. But uh, we've also got, you know, his brain that we want to attack. And you just want to kill it by throwing Pikmin on it. Now if you throw any other different kind of Pikmin on here, I probably should have at least tried this. Um, it's kind of funny, there's actually a unique drowning animation. Uh, when you leave a Pikmin in the water, they're swimming, but this is the only enemy where you can see the drowning animation. And this guy's in like pain, isn't he? Just cause, look at how I'm throwing right now. Just look at this, I'm trying to thank you. Taking years and years and years. I love how everyone just, like, dismisses themselves after I throw them. It's like, okay, I did my part, you don't need me anymore. And I love how, don't, don't think about taking that back, man. So, yeah, it's a little bit interesting. All he does is really deflower your Pikmin, but it's, it's not that big of an issue. But yeah, people would think that this is the uh, infant version of the Water Wraith, or even the Plasma Wraith, and it's kind of funny because I'm 
like I said, there's nothing to support this hypothesis. So it's not really much of a hypothesis if you have nothing to back up your claim. But with that, we are about to murder an incredibly innocent, harmless creature who just wanted to live by appearing on odd number days after our do we come back? Really? Really? They keep going towards the other thing. So that's confusing. Anyway, it just drops a bunch of pellets, and that's it. I guess if you guys really want to, you can bring these back while we collect the rest of our Pikmin. And just build up our blues. Yes, those are pearls, not clams, Allison. Jeez. Alright, there you go. Yes, take back this red pellet. I'm sure it'll do you a lot of good. I guess we could probably flower our Pikmin up. It's not gonna matter. But, I mean, really? <laughs> Plus we left a bunch over here. Now there is kind of an interesting glitch that happened. The very first time I fought him, he actually clipped out of this area. And I looked it up and it had never, I, as far as I know, nobody had ever been able to replicate it. And it's kind of funny because he just was like going insane. He was being a straight up maverick. And I just thought it was kind of um, humorous. So, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Iridescent Foam Beetles also drop nectar. I neglected to mention that. Um, but they disappear after a while. And, uh, just want to let you guys know about that. So, come on. Drop on him so I can de-blood this one. There we go. Fine. Whatever. We don't really even have to do this. I'm not going to be going on this game file, but... Anyway, that was Gulix. <laughs> he was fun, I guess. Um, so he only appears at the impact site, um, just on odd-numbered days after day nine. So we actually timed that almost perfectly. So, can you guys be flowered? I don't really need these guys to be flowered up, it's just kind of a pet peeve to not have them be flowered. All of them must attain maturity. Oh, hey, nice. Cool. Grab it. Grab it and eat it. Come on. Come on. Swarm, my minions. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this day. We're missing one somewhere. We're missing a couple somewhere. Oh, they're just getting the grass, of course. Okay, so, yeah, there's nothing really else here for us. Um, so I guess I'll meet you guys back here for the second additional boss. Day 10, I guess. Hold on, where's that other Pikmin? My little Pikmin buddy, you're over there. You're hiding over there, how could you? Okay, to day 10 we go. And now welcome to day 10, ladies and gentlemen, at the impact site. On uh, days, even number days, starting at day 8, uh, and another additional boss will appear here who is completely harmless to all colors, and he goes by the name of the Mimuda. If you guys recall, he was also in the roll call. And is and people think that he also is part of the water wraith theory that he and Gulex became sperm partners and they decided, hey, maybe they came together and became one of the world's most dangerous bosses in this entire game. No, that is not necessarily the case. He becomes, the, um, he is what had become the Smoky Prog before. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. People are weird with their theories, but yeah, he does appear even number days after. Um, can you get out of here, Iridescent Glint Beetle? I would really, or Flint Beetle, rather. Glint appears in Pikmin 2. Alright, can you not get in our way? I just want to get all of my Pikmin up here. It's not going to work. But, uh, yeah. He is completely harmless. Uh, all he does is he will sprout your Pikmin into the ground. But in doing so, he transforms them into flowers immediately. So, I mean, when he hits them, they don't really, they get hurt a little bit. But when he hits them in the ground, they become completely flowered. So that is kind of interesting, I guess. I don't know. We're going to go take him back. We haven't had over 100 red Pikmin yet, so kind of interesting. He only flowered one of them. Great job. He is not much of a, of a threat whatsoever. Now him as a child, ironically enough, as the Smoky Prog, he uproots Pikmin and poisons them. But as a grown-up Mamuta, he roots them and <laughs> instantly uh, pubertizes them. So anyway, we got, a, I think, just 15 Pikmin out of that, so it's a little disappointing. So yeah, the Mimuta is pretty interesting. He appears in Pikmin too. He's kind of interesting, but I mean, for the most part, really nondescript, and I don't really know what the fascination is with, you know, people and their theories about these things. I mean, they're interesting, but it's just, it's just weird. I don't know. I don't think he can clip out of bounds or anything, not like Gulix can, so. Now let's grab these. We're going to want some uh, flowered Pikmin because for our final destination, we're going to be fighting what many consider to be the most difficult uh, boss in the entire game. And he goes by the name of the... Don't you even think about it, please. Thank you, game. And he appears in the distant spring. He only appears before day 15. After that, it disappears. To do what, I know not. But um, that being said, 
I'm gonna flower up the rest of my Pikmin, and I will meet you guys on day 11 at the Distant Spring. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the Distant Spring for the last time, containing what many consider the most difficult boss in this entire game. We're gonna be doing a couple of different things here. I'm gonna be multitasking. A lot of people have trouble with this, surprisingly. Um, I don't know, when I was a kid, I tried this out. I was a huge fan of the yellows when I was younger. They were always my go-to guys, even though I didn't know that the reds were p more powerful. So I would just always go with the yellows because you could throw them farther and I found that to be considerably more useful than just having fireproof or waterproof Pikmin. And so, basically, with the, um, the added bonus of Yellow Pikmin being able to throw bomb rocks, it actually makes it possible to kill the Smoky Prog pretty easily. So what I'm going to do is we're going to collect uh, some bombs. We're going to go back to that island where the spotty bull bear lies with our special group of ragtag special ops. Oh my god, Shear Grubs are here! What are you doing here? You don't usually show up here, assholes. Here, I'm going to ignore you guys. Don't you dare eat my Pikmin, otherwise I'll be disappointed in you. I don't usually spawn there, but that's okay. That is okay, I will not let that impede our progress. Anyway, you guys can go collect things up. There we go. So a lot of, um, the thing about the Smoky Prog is that it is poisonous. I think I alluded to that uh, when we were talking about the Mamuta. But yes, he is completely poisonous, and he's kind of a pain in the ass because there are no poison-resistant Pikmin in this game. They appear in the second one, but it's completely toxic-filled. You can't even save them. It's just instant death. So just keep that in mind. Is there seriously no more in there? Okay, uh, if we have at least ten, I think we're good, but we have like six. Um, we can grab the other one by the bull bears. There we go. There we go. Alright, good? Are we good? Alright, cool. Um, well, let's hope these, uh, don't you eat that! Don't you eat it! I swear to God. Hey, hey, you want some Pikmin? Too bad. Hey, Wallywog, I heard you like some yellow Pikmin, because it's the same color as your skin, and you're racist. So you stay there. Actually, if we got ten, we should be good. Let's see, yep, we did have ten. So I'm gonna have these guys chill over in this corner over here till we need them. And then now we're gonna take our group of 50 red Pikmin, and this is just as a safety precaution, this is just something I personally like doing. Get rid of this puffy blowhog, because this guy likes to butt his nose into literally everybody's business. So we're gonna do our same strategy as before, get underneath him, throw him, and hope that we can murder him in record time. Don't you dare blow me. Here, there you go. You can die now. You can die. Almost heinous death. There he goes, he's dead. Really? One Pikmin! One Pikmin to rule them all! There we go, thank you. Sweet Jesus, that took a bit longer than I thought. I thought 50 would be enough to take him out in a single cycle, but that's fine. We don't really... No worries, he can't kill us. All he can do is deflower us, apparently. Alright, let's just take care of these guys real fast. Before we take on the Smoky Prog, he appears in a egg, and uh, we gotta go bust it open with those small group of blues that I got, this special hand-picked team. Special, special forces. Alright, are we good? Are we good here? That's fine. It's all 50 of them. Alright, so we're gonna go put you next to these five yellows. Just chill there for a little bit. And we'll take these guys. Now, the thing that the Smoky Prog is gonna do, the second it spawns, it's gonna run straight for your base. It's going to ignore all of your Pikmin. And the thing it does is it uproots the Pikmin and poisons them. Um, but it's it's not really that hard, so I don't know. People people t have a tendency to exacerbate things a little bit, so we're gonna bust this open a little bit. This moltres ass egg. And uh, all right, here it comes. Are you guys ready, ladies and gentlemen? I like to introduce to you the Smoky Prog. Man, we have talked about you so many times so far, and he's gonna go like over the water. It's like quit polluting the spring, man. That's just it's very inconsiderate, and I don't appreciate it. When you're polluting this planet's water supply. I mean, really, there's Wallywogs living here, so that might be a plus. But at the same time, it's like, come on, show a little bit of respect. So we've got our ten bombs here. And basically, he's going to come straight for one of your onions and try and do an uproot attack. Now, when he does that, that is your prime opportunity to throw bombs like crazy. And uh, that's basically all you have to do. So hopefully he does it, like, immediately. That would be nice. And not face away from us because that would also be nice. Here, let's go over here. And when he does it, all right, this should be good. All right, go, 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 throw. Throw to your heart's content. Uh, one, two, um, shoot. Throw more, throw more. Okay, you can actually still throw it while he's moving. It's just not very, um, I wouldn't recommend it. Oop, there it goes. All right, he's facing away from us, which is not good because the sludge behind him will cause us to die instantaneously. So come on, trusty yellows, I know you can do this. You failed me during the first fight against the boss. 
uh, the Emperor Bullblacks, but come on, you can do it! Aim! Take aim and fire, you can do it! Oh, yes! Okay, alright, come on, come on. You're almost there, two more. Alright, let's wait for this guy to uproot again, and we're good. We're good, there we go. Alright, go! Go, you can do it! I promise! And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with one bomb to spare, my lovely yellow pigment took out the Smoky Prog without a single casualty, ladies and gentlemen. How people don't do this more often is beyond me. I've seen three walkthroughs of this, and literally none of the people I've seen have done it like that. They just try and bombard them with reds. But with that, they leave behind this lovely, lovely gold pearl that gives you 100 Pikmin. So we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a solid here to all of our Pikmin. Uh, when we fought against Gulix, we got a blue Pikmin count up, so we're gonna get rid of them. We don't need any more than that. And for the Mamuta, we collected his you know his carcass that was worth 15. So we don't need any more red Pikmin. Now yellows, my yellows. I tell you guys what, <sighs> these guys have been hurting. I don't think they've been over 21 over the course of this entire walkthrough. So with this. I grant the yellow Pikmin, the pellet that to rule them all, the gold pearl rather, for 100 English pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get our numbers up pretty ferociously and uh, it's going to be amazing because, you know, over the years I have come to realize yellow Pikmin are literally the worst Pikmin <laughs> in this game. But still, um, look at this. This is amazing. Uh, it's a raining man. Hallelujah. It's raining Pikmin! Look at this, this is amazing. Look at all these. Uh, the genealogy of the yellow Pikmin will live on forever. My favorite thing in the world. And then we gotta pick these. Unfortunately, it's not Pikmin 2 where you can just use your whistle to pick sprouted things violently off the ground, but that's okay. This is as many shinies as Olimar is willing to sacrifice for himself. So with that, um, we're pretty much done. I mean, as far as things go, I've shown pretty much all of the exploits I know in this game, aside from, you know, things that I don't know, but like that spotty bull bear eating me into the cliff and then doing that. I mean, that's pretty much all I have for Pikmin. Unless we want to go back and do challenge mode where enemies will be in different places and, uh, you know, they'll be tougher and we just have to spread as many as we can. Um, I don't know, I might do that in the future, but for now, I think this is where we're going to be ending Pikmin off. Indefinitely, um, like I said, short project, 10 videos. I mean, this really is mostly a side project, but I am glad I had it done. And I'm glad, um, for those of you who enjoyed it, um, that you enjoyed it because, I don't know, this this place holds, a, or this game holds a nice place in my heart for some reason, despite the fact that I sucked at it for years. But, I don't know, being able to kill the Smoky Prog like that brought tears to my eyes. So with this, my lovely, lovely yellow leaves, I am your master. Take me back to your leader, please. And interestingly enough, when you take Olimar into the onion, well, we get can't get knocked up in there. We don't even lose any health, but... Oh my god, it's a yellow Wallywog, how could you? But we got fireworks. It's kind of interesting, I guess. And I don't think we can even flower these guys. Oh yeah, we can. Man. This is probably going to be a short video because even the raw footage, it's only like 12 minutes, so... Ah, uh, eat! Eat until your heart's content, my good Pikmin! You deserve it! For all of the Pikmin that we had not grown from you. I mean, we grew all of our Pikmin, nearly all of them, that we needed on the first day. And then aside from that, it was just whatever the hell they felt like it. But with this, my flowered Pikmin, okay. Except there's two leaves in there. Come on, Robert Plants. Really? Really? Why, why, why couldn't you have shared, you guys? Alright, well, that hasn't been said and done. Elongating the video even longer. My name is Allison Cruz, and I hope you guys enjoyed Pikmin. Um, if you'd like to see Pikmin 2, let me know, because I would love to start working on that. But like I said, I'd like to try it on the GameCube. But, I don't know. That's just me. So next time, um, I guess I'll just talk to you guys later. <laughs> Ah!